when the horses are one of the steps, I will know that I am finally home. Another thing that is home is content. Another day was gifted to us. And we are going in, man. We're playing Mongolia Cause Redux. New game. Select country. Mother the Mongolian Khan Roman von Ungern Sternberg. You know what I like? Because I'm in the region. The Empire of Mankind. The Emperor. The Rise of Men. I think we should do that. The Empire of Men. Yeah, I think he spawns in Nepal, a town or something, right? That doesn't matter, for I am the Mad Baron. Looks like my neighbor, man. Roman von Ungern Sternberg. Cavalry attack plus 5, minus 15 stability. Roman von Ungern Sternberg. The Mad Baron. And officially referred to by his noble title, Dar Khan Huoshoi Chinwang, in the degree of Khan, had a troubled upbringing, constantly moving, and with a father who was committed to an insane asylum, he eventually joined Pavlovskoe Military School in St. Petersburg, where he became interested in the occult and Buddhism. After graduation, he was transferred to Siberia, where he became known for his heavy drinking and dangerous... He is, he's a German after all. <laughs> Ungern eventually traveled to China, where he married Manchu Princess Elena Pavlovna. Eventually, he moved to Urga and defeated the Chinese garrison stationed there, restoring the Bok Khan to the throne and proclaiming Mongolia independent. Holy shit, man. It's kind of a cool story, if you think about it. Scourge of the Steps, 15% fucking division speed Alhamdulillah Buruda. but before I want to read the rest I have z I have nothing man where's the first fuel I can ever get bro we're gonna stay on horses man there ain't no fucking fuel anywhere Roman is the enigmatic and brutal leader of Mongolia. His fearsome reputation is such that it has led some Buddhists to claim that he is both an avatar of the god of war and the reincarnation of Genghis Khan himself. While many claim this is baseless superstition, others tout purported mystical events around the Baron as proof of a nature beyond simple human kin. So I'm big with Russia, man. I'm like a big Lukashenko. The Baron's connections in the Russian government have supplied Mongolia with capital and labor. Blah, blah, blah. I, okay, I want to stay close to Russia, I guess. The rule of Baron Sternberg has not been one of democracy and freedom, but rather all of authoritarianism and control. Some may see this as a good thing, however, there are rumors of a new contender to the leadership of Mongolia. Gada Mairen. I probably can play this guy if I want to, huh? A man famous for fighting against autocrats has been spotted inciting people to violence within the tribal communities of Mongolia. Gentlemen, that is kind of the storyline. I probably have nothing. Wait, I actually have not even bad industry, man. You know what? I think I should probably build this first. The legendary Mongolian stepways. Let's take a look. I, I, bro, I remember I played this years ago and this is a brand new focus for you. Holy shit, I'm getting excited. I played Mongolia years ago on stream and it was really undone. This is amazing. The Russians aren't watching. The Russian nation is recovering from the recent Ukraine uh, civil war. Concerned about continuing German dominance in the Caucasus and the breakaway state of Transamu in the far ears. This is the perfect time to assemble the war council and decide where Mongolia should go. <laughs> I'm taking... I'm taking... Hmm... This guy's a cavalry officer, so he's obviously much better. Yeah, this guy's much better. The Star Warriors. You know why? Because yeah. Roman's name is Sternberg, which means mountain, star mountain. Okay, cool. Role playing. Dude, I want to really, really see uh, the Emperor of Mankind. No! It's already happening? No way! Dude, he's gonna kill... All Dude, I'm dead. Yo, man, if you know Warmer for the k man, it's fucking big stuff. Okay, that's the Empire of Mankind. Oh, he has war goals on everyone. Really good, really good traits. He doesn't have a focus speed, does he? No, he doesn't have a focus speed. He's just like a meme. The rise of... Oh, my God. Shall that turn this off? Ay, 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 ay. Okay, this guy is fucking unkillable. I want to see how fast he can wait the world. You can't really play him. I was Googling that. Uh, he doesn't really have a focus speed and stuff. Let's take down the Emperor of Mankind, bro. Easy peasy. Okay, maybe I can't. I think the Empire is actually killing everyone. I just want to check them real quick. Yeah, let's restart. Empire is probably too strong. Okay, I didn't know that. Empire of Men. That could be a nice final boss one time when we play like a Western country. But one day we need a meme run. I, I'm actually very interested in beating the Empire one day. We could make Germany versus the Empire of Men or something. Okay, I'm doing nothing. Okay, I'm listening. I'm doing nothing. Third Biden? Nah, let's just I listen to chat. Really 
The sun rose high across the eastern steppe as yet another unruly and chaos-filled day began anew to test the bloody Baron and his struggling regime. To the east, the famed Garda Mayren, a rebel leader and Mongolian nationalist revolutionary, and his forces have been seen amassing once more, poised to strike into the heartlands of Mongolia yet again and wreak havoc on the Baron's domain. Never shying from a fight, the Baron Ungon Sternberg has rallied his forces of Russian exiles and hired mercenaries and tribals to ride to meet this Luada and his hobbit together militias in the field of battle. In a thunderous crash of steel on steel and beast on beast, the riffing masses of these ready cavalry hordes slammed into one another with the force of a freight train, causing sparks to dance of swords and armor as red mist filled the air, turning the sky as red as the bloody soil beneath them. After hours of struggle and horrific slaughter, the dust began to settle as a calm, quiet blah 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 blah. Ungon Sternberg was struck by a stray arrow, but managed to reach his horse to escape to Ulga. The Mad Baron grows madder, perhaps mad enough to forge a new empire. <clears throat> a Baron dies, but the Khan is reborn. The eyes of the Khan bolted open once more with life. Now, bloodshot and wildly wild-eyed like never before. Without hesitation or warning, the Khan let out a primordial scream. <laughs> The world shall tremble in fear. For now I become Mahakala, the destroyer of worlds. Ah, if I claim something, I lose Russian help. Unification for all of Mongolia. Fuck yeah, dude. The god of war. This is what I want to take, right? You gain two mils, massive division limit. You gain few, you get, you get war economy pretty much. The purge has ended. You gain Ungorn's purge. Minus 25 orc. 25%, so I should not do any wars for 250 days. Um, here you take obviously... Oh no, this is the first time ever I take proper heritage. Because you literally get plus 5 cavalry attack. You should always take professional army core, but this is just too good. And then offensive bonus. More and more army XP coming in. The Mongol minority in Xibaye. The lands of Xibaye and Xinjiang alike contain many enclaves of our people, both small rural villages and roving bands of tribesmen. However, spurred on by the chaos of this new age, debased and fanatic nationalists have started inciting violence against our people. I get a shit ton of claims, I get a cavalry division. Before our claims declared against the Muslims in the south, the tension between the Maklik and our state has risen to an untenable level and is now ready to evolve into an all-out war at a moment's notice. Riders! Ride out! Okay, protect my east, protect my east. Let's creak him down. Let's creak him down. Let's creak him down. I could actually rush him down, couldn't I? Let's try that. How are the guns? Ah, I still can make a new division. I actually want to go up to 30 with probably. Kicking him out of the world would be pretty sweet right now. Kumul Khanat. One more and he's dead. Kicking him out is big. The problem is that Tibet will fucking steal it all. I'm very fast, man. My divisions are fast, dude. That's fucking sweet, man. This pin so I can get the peace deal. Free. This should be 100%, right? One more state. Come on. You're dead. I'm literally dead. Okay, I took it. Kumul is mine. Now you fuck boys. We're going for the final push on the city here. Fuck this area. No one cares. It's all about supply hubs, man. I gotta probably start building supply hubs. My uh, road network is almost done. This is so much better than the last time I played Mongolia. Yeah, it's so much deeper, man. Really cool. And let's get these final battles here. Actually, pauses from guns. Everything's looking good. How does the supply hub work? Very, very easy. Look, this is a supply hub. This right here, you see that? And a supply hub has an aura. And every division in that aura is supplied. Mongolia starts with no supply hubs. You only have the basic supply hub of your uh, capital. And that's the big issue of Mongolia. You have you have nothing. And I think the what I need to do here is just to really get supply hubs everywhere. That's going to make me successful. Easy dead. GG, good. How much, how much is uh, Tibet going to steal? It didn't take it. Wow. Nice. Oh, this is bad fun, dude. Okay, I got my first supply hubs. So now I probably should invade. Integrate Nixia. Oh, I, I core Nixia. I should probably fucking do that right now. This is so much fun, man. I'm having a blast. I should probably go for an early Turkestan. He's fucking easy to kill. But again, fucking supply, huh? Recruit Ungern's God or Motorize. So you can stay in cavalry or you go big armor. Ah, oh, it's a big decision. I can keep that decision home for later, though. Oh, shit, I'm calling myself out as the emperor. Now that the tribes of the Mongolian people have been united under the banner of a single leader once again, shall a land seal itself from the world to protect our precious tradition and people? Or shall we, like the great Temujin, lead our great and mighty host to trample the decadence and pretty regimes of the East and West? Let's get computers first, but obviously I'm mostly interested in, in mechanized units. And let's just wreck him really, really quick. Turkestan is literally for free right now. They're still recovering from that war. Nah, that's not enough. If I fully supply that, it's 
Wait, I can totally... Oh my god, I can easily supply that. I just got full support artillery just from uh, from raiding. <laughs> the Mongolian way, baby. That's not something to be proud of. It is something to be proud of, bitch. I am a Mongoloid, you're right. It is what I am, and I'm proud of being that. A new Mongolian Empire. Now that our currently enemies are defeated, nobody can stop our Khan from restoring the past glory of Mongolia. And then, beyond the capabilities of other Murals, Ungern is fought of, by many Mongolians as an avatar of the God of War, or in the very least, a reincarnation of the great Genghis Khan. And with his newest victories, those doubting these claims have to reduce to a mere handful. Fueled by the sweet fruits of victory, Ungern Khan has convened a grand assembly in Urga to manifest the triumph of Mongolia's recent conquest. The Mongolian Empire rises, man. In a bold but not surprising move, Sternberg, under the guise of a reincarnated Genghis Khan, took to his theatrical stage atop his fortified residence. The once laughable eccentric now possesses an aura of intimidating energy. Addressing the gathering crowds, he declared that the Mongol Empire has returned. Oh, uh... <laughs> Khan of Khans. <laughs> this is so good, man. Gets event. Stalmback calls himself the Khan of Khans. You gain warrior society. Oh shit, I'm in a battle? This is combat in Victoria 3. The infamous peasant bandit Gaidan Marin and his forces have seized a major bridge on the Trans-Mongolian Railway, persuading the local garrison to join him in their occupation as they attempt to bring the vital line to a complete halt. Sternberg does not have enough men in his scouting party to overcome Marin's forces decisively, meaning a blood and exceedingly risky conflict will ensure. However, Sternberg does also have his artillery battalion. I can charge for 10,000 men. We're men, we're charging. A great sacrifice. Gaida Maren has been beaten. The great rebel leader Gaida Maren, which sounds like a fucking Dragon Ball villain, has been fucking beaten, let's. Russian Civil War, man. That's a massive war, holy moly. Oh shit, man. Boy is down. Welcome to the Khanat, bro. Back to supply, man. These guys are literally living off hunts. They're literally going hunting. Victory? Oh, I do. I can loot them or incorporate them. Oh, wait, I get more cores here. The problem, if I loot them, I get 10 steel Magoya, I get massive cores. Dude, you have to do number one. Because you core everything. Dude, we just fucking looted their ass. We're fucking Mongolian now. Roman von Ungarn Sternberg has proved himself to be the savior of Mongolia. Look at that picture, man. Securing its defined sovereignty amongst the surrounding conflicts in Russia and China. The Mad Baron has been personally blessed by the Bakht Khan, proving his actions ascend beyond the majority of mortals. Addressing the masses from the fortified capital of Urga, Sternberg has declared that he's indeed the reincarnation of Genghis fucking Khan, man. Claiming himself the spiritual continuation of the immortal emperor. Oh, that looks so... Wow, that looks... <laughs> that's fucking sick, dude. Holy shit, man. That's so fucking cool, man. This is fucking sick. Whoa! Fuck, man. Yes, please. Okay, Tibet. Tibet. I am sorry. Not sorry. I actually built a little bit of supply, man. Not too bad. We're actually now in an area where supply actually exists. Yep. Welcome to the Great Empire, my Tibetan friends. Incorporate peacefully or salt the earth. We're fucking looting them. We're playing fucking Mongolia. I feel like I need to grow fast, to be honest, before that stuff happens. Let's do it. The fate of China, man. Now that our Khanat stands at the gates of China proper, let us, like the great hordes of old, ride forth from the steppe in our great host and seize Beijing. I actually got logistics that's even upgraded, because logistics is such a problem here, and I hopefully can provide this. Full logistics have been added, baby. Okay, getting into Shanxi quick. Unfortunately, I will not get a lot of points. Try to get some arming speed a little bit. The problem is soon I'm gonna have so many rebellions. I need to own Qingzhou. I'm not really ready for that. So maybe we go active in the west again. The problem is supply in the west. Oh, wait. Oh, there's a fit. Oh, oh, Turkestan, huh? Mama, mama. Bro, that is a fucking good division. I cannot afford that, though. Fuck it. That's a great division. I need air. I think if I get air, I can totally win this game. That's a great... You know what? I'm starting to think I should go into the uh, cavalry uh, tree. Fuck doing mechanized army and tanks. What if I just do uh, massive green air and cavalry? Let's be, let's be true to our roots. This is so fucking good. Oh, you get 8,000 motorized? <laughs> Horseman of the apocalypse. 
plus 12% cavalry attack and defense, 10 more planning, 10 more speed, 8,000 motorized. Guys, I'm feeling a bit, I'm starting to feel a bit broken now. Yeah, we gotta build just supply ups all day, man. The problem is I can't rebuild an industry. The connection's almost there. God of War. And then you get even crazier sh stuff later, man. Russia demands a formal apology. They can't reach me. What the fuck you gonna do, bitch? What the fuck you gonna do, bitch? Like I'm scared, bro. <laughs> These guys are just kind of basic defense. And what they're gonna do is that the main army rushes into Beijing, kills this, wins the war quickly. And these guys will be positioned kind of like here, making sure that that invasion doesn't kill me too hard. Okay. Scheiße. If Russia kills that, fuck, I'm gonna fight Russia. Oh, 90 days. Fuck it, all in, we're fucking trying it. We're trying it, we're trying it. We're fucking trying it. I'm gonna have the biggest mouth ever, dude. I'm gonna try to blitzkrieg China before Russia comes in. Ah, Russia's breaking through. Nah, I can't, I can't. Russia's breaking through too hard. It's time to move, gentlemen. It's time to move. Pussy? The fuck you mean pussy? I'm protecting my country against the fucking Russians because I told the Russians to suck my dick. Are you fucking ridiculous? Fart 999, you dumb fucker. To the front line, riders of the apocalypse. It's gonna be all about supply. He has none. Yes, okay. Can I take a, can I take Brownie quickly? Gentlemen, welcome to the Great War Man. So look how quickly I'm cleaning out Russia. <laughs> Promise I don't get a peace deal, right? Because they're part of the Entente. No, they're alone. I get the peace deal. I get a peace deal. It was all about um, the supply hubs, man. Supply is everything. I think he actually had a better army than me. Yeah, now cavalry expert makes sense, man. Dude, the stats on this cavalry are just insane. Do you think there's actually anyone watching right now that's actually from fucking Mongolia? There's no way. I don't think anyone from Mongolia is watching. Moscow time. Adios. Dude, I'm building the literal world empire in Mongolia, man. Best infrastructure, best internet, dude. Look at that. Full of Moscow, baby. Mongolian horses are riding through Moscow, literally. Horses with, horses with parachutes. I'm actually gonna do that. <laughs> Damn, I never thought I would shit on him this hard. It was all a supply question. It's so perfect. Alhamdulillah. Mamba Yumi. Get fucking sucked. Oh, Turkestan, big mistake. Wow, there's an event? Baron Roman von Sternberg, more famously known as the Mad Baron, has long as fascinated the world. Be it his reportedly brutal and horrid acts against his enemies or his near worship of Mongolia's Bakht Khan, there is little of the Baron that is even possible to grasp. One of the few things that is possible to grasp, however, he has been his long-time goaling of restoring the Russian Empire under Grand Duke Mikhail Al Alexandrovich. He finally did this. Sounds like a Marconi thumbnail. Did he actually fucking do this? Shouldn't have any friends. Kill them fast, kill them fast. Go, 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 go. Dude, I, my divisions are so fucking fast, man. This might be the fastest movement speed ever. If I actually make motorized, I might have over 16 kilometers an hour. Dude, that is real Blitzkrieg, man. So fucking fast. Holy shit. Ay, 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 wreck, man. Yo, I thought was gate, Brody. Was gate. Oh, I keep a lot, man. Russian Republic under my banner, man. Fuck yeah. Now, time for China war, baby. Central Asia should belong to me. 15 stability gone. I'm literally not allowed to do that. And he called him in. Easy. And let's just do it. I mean, look at this cavalry, Aldo. Dude, they're just walking in. It's 2.8 million euros. Now I'm at war with Japan, but I'm taking him down any moment now he's dead. Very close to kill. Fighting the other Russia now. 
I actually am. I actually am. Good job, man. I need to be still right against this guy right now. Quick. Get the get the blitzkrieg here. This faction is done. Yeah, this whole faction just incidized. It's fucking ridiculous. Ha! What the fuck? <laughs> fuck off, bitch. So we just uh, now take the gun, this Transamur guy. He's not the real Transamur. If you want to see real Transamur, you check Tommy K YouTube. Let's go, 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 boys. Every throne needs an emperor. Ooh. With our conquest of the Middle Kingdom proving complete and victorious, you must now choose what to do with the lands. So claim it all. Minus 20. Oh, God. I'm losing a lot of stability, man. Oh, shit, man. I'm building a mega empire, man. That's for sure. Okay. Well, this is going to be an easy kill. Ugh, man. Nein. Bruder. Bruder, bitte. Bruder, bitte, man. Hör auf mich, Bruder. Ich schwöre. Ich schwöre, Alter. Was geht denn bei ihm, Bruder? I don't know, this guy is literally more. Oh, now he actually went to 98. Okay. Any moment now, it should be over. Okay, Japan, it's time to say goodbye, man. The fading sun. I get a peace deal, then I let them keep their home island. Collapse of Japan. So now I'm only at war with him. We can rush him down real quick. This is a bit weird. We will maintain direct rule over China, holding the mandate with all the benefits. Enables decisions to deal with any warlord standing in our way. It's so fucking cool. This this tree is so well done. It's so fucking well done, man. This is how you make a fucking focus tree, baby. I just got a new flag. Oh, I got a new flag. I think I also got a crown? Oh, I'm Great Yuan. Oh shit, I'm Great Yuan all of a sudden. Because I came became also the... I got the title of Emperor of China. Did you just take something, you fuck? Bruder, schwör doch mal, schwör doch mal. And now you take the nun, and then you can call the Great Khan. Who the fuck? It's time, I'm showing the template. Pretty much a soft attack template. What's crazier is the speed, 6.4. Imagine, I wanna just see what would, how much speed could I achieve if I do this. With all these insane speed bonuses I get here. 13.8, hi yi yi. 12 is kinda the highest you can kinda reach in this game. Here we go, baby. Here we fucking go. Let's have a grand parade, man, and fucking Urga. Urga probably looks like in Game of Thrones now with all the horse statues. The final focus of the game, bro. The spirit of Genghis Khan. Our vast conquests have expanded the borders of Mongolia to stretch across Eurasia. The steppe plains and eastern China are under our control. Land, previously thought near impossible to unify, however, Stjernberg's tactical brilliance, he means me, and divine strength has forged the wild fantasies of Mongolian nationalists into reality. His vision for a revived Mongolian empire stronger than ever, and he has restored the spirit of Genghis Khan. I didn't even get my debuff out. I, I did all of this with massive de uh, Orga debuffs. Motherfucker, 14 million manpower. We did it all, boys. We did it all.